Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. The XRP community is demanding via petition that new SEC chairman Gary Gensler investigate what his predecessor, uh, Jay Clayton, former SEC chair, uh, had going on when uh, he brought with his crew at the SEC a, a complaint, a legal complaint against Ripple claiming that for the better part of a decade, Ripple was selling XRP as an unregistered security, as an investment contract. Uh, well, mind you, Jay Clayton and also uh, William Hinman, who uh, who was at the time a, a director at the SEC, both Jay and William had clear, um, let's say, uh, monetary uh, <laughs> benefits. I don't even know how I want to word this. Like, not like I want to tiptoe around this. The optics of what happened were bad. They were getting paid from entities that um, had interests in the way that they were regulating the crypto space, specifically surrounding Bitcoin and uh, and Ethereum. And so I'm not going to go so far as to make a claim that they did something illegal here, but uh, the optics are not good and they did benefit as, 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 as financially as a result of their policies that were set during their time at the SEC. And so now we're seeing that this petition, which has been signed by a ton of XRP holders, I'll give you the specifics in a second, this petition is going to be sent to Gary Gensler, who is the new SEC chairman. So plenty to talk about here, but um, before we go further, I do want to be clear that I don't have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos purely as a fun hobby about Ripple and XRP and crypto in general, and that's all that's going on here. And so uh, attorney John Deaton, uh, his his group, Crypto Law, uh, tweeted out the following. By the way, John Deaton, I'm sure most of you know, but there could be new people. Uh, John Deaton is an attorney. He's not with Ripple. He's not with the SEC. Uh, but he is seeking to intervene in the SEC versus Ripple case since neither Ripple nor the SEC um, has the interests of XRP holders in mind. And that's not a dig against... Uh, uh, Ripple, because why they shouldn't be expected to, uh, it is a dig against the SEC because uh, is, is they're, if they're claiming that they're protecting investors and we're the investors, what the hell? <laughs> you know, they're, I tell you what, I don't feel protected by them. But, um, but here's a tweet from John Deaton's group, Crypto Law. Breaking. The petition by Crypto and Policy for an investigation of Jay Clayton and William Hinman for conflicts of interest during their terms at the SEC will be submitted to Gary Gensler on Friday, uh, May 14th. So just a few days from now, Gary Gensler is going to get this. Um, and so look, I'm, I'm all for this stuff and, and people signing all this stuff. Um, I am not convinced that we're going to get a response and, and I'll, I'll explain why. I mean, it, it, I'll get in detail. But it, a part of it, a big part of it, is just that, man, this would make his, his organization look bad. If he's sitting down and then, like, if we're validating some of the claims that are that, that are being made against, or if he, if he were to validate by uh, any of the, the demands, like, to validate the claims that XRP holders have against the SEC, I don't think he wants to do that. I mean, it would be a, a, the right thing and reasonable thing. To, I just, I don't think he's going to do that. Uh, you know, he, he wants to save face of the organization that he just took over, I, I would assume, right? That's probably, I mean, I think that's reasonable speculation here. Um, and so here's what uh, Crypto and Policy tweeted out, and they're the ones that actually uh, wrote this petition. We have over 17,000 signatures on our petition calling on SEC Chair Gary Gensler to end the war on XRP. Work with crypto holders on a new regulatory framework and investigate Clayton and Hinman. It will be delivered on May 14th. So there you go. Just a few days away. And uh, John Deaton, uh, he retweeted uh, his, that tweet from his group, Crypto Law, and he shared the following. Here, here's his perspective on this. Some people think that these types of things, he's referencing the petition here. Some people think that these types of things make no difference. I disagree. XRP holders got the attention of the New York Times. Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporters are starting to pay attention. Let's try and get Gary Gensler's attention on Friday by signing. And so the, here, here it is here, and I'm going to cover at least some of this thing. It's, it's somewhat lengthy here, but I did want to touch on some of this. 
Um, over the past few months, evidence has publicly mounted, which raises serious questions about the motivations between the 11th hour charges brought by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission against cryptocurrency innovator Ripple Labs and two executives in December 2020. We're asking Gary Gensler, recently confirmed as the new chairman of the SEC, to take a close look at the SEC's allegations uh, against Ripple Labs, its co-founders, and the harm the SEC's actions have already done and needlessly caused the holders of the digital currency XRP. Yeah, right there. And so they're not going <laughs> to they're not going to want to acknowledge they'll never acknowledge that uh, they caused harm to XRP holders. That would I mean there could be legal implications for them. So even if they believe that they caused it and I believe they know that uh, their 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 actions uh, ultimately absolutely directly led to what happened. They're, you're not going to get an acknowledgement out of them. But yeah, we, we're on the same page here, I think, right? Of course they did. And so then they wrote also the following. Mr. Gensler, we also petition you to, and then there's a list here, uh, make a public commitment to sitting down with the holders of XRP and other digital assets to understand what it truly means to defend investors at the SEC. Um, your agency is trying to silence our voices in the Ripple lawsuit. Show us you understand what your job is all about. Yeah, so that, let me, let me jump in here. That is true. That is definitively, unquestionably true. They're absolutely trying to silence the voices of XRP holders uh, by uh, denying XRP holders a seat at the table in the SEC versus Ripple suit in the, in the case. They, they flat out said that no, uh, they, that they, uh, the XRP holders should not um, have a seat because their interests are represented by Ripple, which is ridiculous to me as I keep stating on this channel because they're saying that the that Ripple's representing the, the, the interests of the holders of XRP. I'm like, well... Your mission statement, SEC, is to protect investors. Aren't you supposed to be the one representing the interests of XRP? Like, this is just completely bass backwards. It's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, next uh, next demand here. End the Ripple lawsuit and stop the SEC from making up cryptocurrency rules through lawsuits in place of writing these rules properly with public input and partnership with U.S. Congress. And I think we can all agree on that. There's just not sufficient regulatory clarity. Then they go on to talk about... Uh, you know, helping to work with other blockchain developers to, to define what a clear regulatory framework should look like. And this is what they should do. I'm just not convinced that they're going to do it. It seems to me that they just want to take a hammer at every nail that's sticking out. And uh, and there you go, regulate through enforcement. Which, to me personally, it just seems like an incredibly immoral way to approach all of this because it's their lack of clarity that's resulting in, in, in the risk that these business owners are taking on, these entrepreneurs. That's just not right. That That is in no way could that possibly be right. Um, and then they ultimately do talk about the the, the Jay Clayton and, and William Hinman stuff. I've talked about that a lot on the channel, so I don't really want to go terribly in depth about all the implications. But just know this. Jay Clayton and, and uh, Bill Hinman, they have made a lot of money as a result of the policies that they set in place during their time at the SEC, uh, thanks to their partnerships. Uh, that they had, inc including, uh, in the case of him, in a, a previous employer. Uh, he was at an employer, worked at the SEC, did things that benefited previous employer, then went back to the previous employer and is now currently two-day working there again. And it was like to the tune of millions of dollars. It's just, it's ridiculous. The optics are not good. They're very bad, in fact. They're very, very bad. <clears throat> um, and so, uh, ultimately, they just go to, on to, to basically state, hey, we need clarity let's figure this out let's have a clear regulatory framework and so like the, the vast majority of all this i think that i think that really everyone listening uh, would be on board with the vast majority of this here and so um i'm just being honest with you and real like i, I don't think that you're going to get a response but i also agree with john deaton that this isn't some sort of waste we're drawing attention to this stuff like this draws attention and it does make uh people at the sec also feel the heat like they know that uh, that that we're here not too happy with them and everything adds up Every little piece, every little moving piece to this puzzle, uh, it, it, it matters tremendously. So I'm glad to see it's coming. And I just, I don't think that the uh, that uh, Gary Gensler is going to want to uncover, if there is anything, I don't think they're going to want to cover anything having to do with Jay Clayton and, and William Hinman. But if there is something there, uh, and if there is something that was done illegally or anything like that, I mean, it wouldn't, sur I don't know if it was done. I'm not going to make the claim, but it would not surprise me if that ended up being the case. It wouldn't in the least because this looks awful. I don't know how you could have something that looks this bad optically that doesn't have some serious uh, meat to it, you know, in terms of functionally why all of this occurred. So, 
You, you guys let me know, but that's what's going on. So at a minimum, again, uh, SEC chair Gary Gensler is going to see this in a few days. I don't expect anything back from him, but he's he, he's hearing you. He is hearing your voices. And in fact, as I um, record this video, there are 20,513 XRP holders that have signed this. That's something. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of stuff to read and watch on the internet. And so the fact that the message got out to that many and, the, and they signed it, that's something. So feel good about that. But um, I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.